Hey everyone, uh, doing a re-recording of how to send out delayed emails from um, Microsoft Outlook. Uh, again, this is just a nice tool like the other program, Constant Contact. This is just a way that stays in front of people. We set it up, don't have to really think about it, and even though you're not doing anything, it still stays in front of potential clients and it's a point of contact. Hopefully that engages them and gets them to contact you back. Again, we went through before setting up accounts. Once we have an account here, so say this was a brand new account, uh, buy low supply. We had just entered in all the information. Uh, we got our contact in there. And most importantly, we've added a task. Okay, so once that's done, then automatically we shouldn't have to do um, scheduling tasks to reset it to resend these emails it just should be automatic as soon as we sent it in we're either going to call them because uh, you know ideally is we're going to call somebody to ultimately either close them over the phone or set up a meeting whether that's Skype face to face or whatever we have to do to ultimately get a meeting to close a deal but again we're talking about sending out delayed emails here so again counts in task us up uh, we have a contact in if you hit just their email and you have Microsoft Outlook set up with a Northern Geo account. See, so if you go back to regular uh, Outlook, we can set up multiple accounts here. So this is for National Real Estate Holdings, Homer's Group, which is a real estate company involved with and then Exchange Pool Heaters. So we can have multiple different things. So rather than having to just do this on Office 365, which it doesn't integrate with very well, we want to do it with Microsoft Outlook. So again, we had our um, CRM open. We hit this. That will get you right into your email here. And again, we want to have a couple of these boilerplate emails already opened up. So we want the actual business introduction. Since this is the first one, we're going to send out. Again, we're just copying it. We'd go here paste it. I know these have been edited since then. I just wanted this as a, so we have a t tutorial. And then again, we would type in the subject line we have. We send this off. It'll go out immediately since this is set up for today. Again, we would change the date here and the salutation. Um, so then again, we go back to the CRM. Just hit this again. And it's going to pull up a new email. We go back to the um, delayed emails. So this is the second email that goes out day two. So we paste that in there. Whoops. Let's undo that. Copy. And so whoever we were talking to was Chris. So type Chris's name in there. Can we go back to um, the company here? So this is the subject line. We highlight the subject line. So since I'm just doing this right now, it's going to be a little slow. But as you get faster at this, it'll just it'll speed up more and more and more. Okay. So it's since even though we're all setting these all up at the exact same time. This one doesn't go out till tomorrow. So again, we go under tags, hit that um, queue. So this uh, window comes up and we do not want it to deliver till tomorrow. So we set on the calendar for tomorrow during normal business hours. It's always going to default to 5 p.m. So you might have to change the time on that. So we want to go out at 10 a.m., hit close. And when I hit send, if you go to my outbox, you'll see that this is sitting here. And I don't ever have to think about it again. It just, uh, on the day that I open up my Outlook and it needs to go out, it'll Outlook, it'll automatically send it out. So again, we're going back. We're doing this all immediately when we enter a new lead in. So we got lead in, tasks are set up. Hit this again. I'll pull up the third window. We go to where we have these other ones. You know, so we copy, paste. You'll have to customize right here um, their company name.
go ahead and paste this since his name is Chris. We just have to type that in there again. And we said that this one goes out two weeks later. So can we hit the tags? Go down here. Two weeks later. Change our time real quick. Hit send. And again we can see it just sits in my outbox. It's ready to go. And you know we can have hundreds or thousands of these depending on how many people we end up eventually talking to. And finally, this is the fourth one. So go back to our CRM. Again, hit email. Oops, we want to go back to so our subject line. Paste. Again, copy it, put the name in there, Chris, and it goes out four weeks later. So, hit our thing on our calendar, time we want it to go out, close, send, it sits in our outbox. So, we already had our initial call. And we sent out our first uh, business introduction letter, probably attached with our uh, brochure. And then there's three other contacts just sitting out here that'll contact them. You know, one tomorrow, one two weeks from now, one um, four weeks from now. And uh, we have our tasks scheduled up. So that way we're hitting at least five points of contact with only doing two phone calls. Um, just an easier way to keep in front of people. Um, also, you know, if somebody were to become a client, we can go back, we can search these up, and if we want, we can delete them so that they're not sending out um, once they're already a close client, which is quick and easy to do. So, anyways, I hope this is a little more helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call or shoot me an email. Thanks.